Hey everybody what's up? So I know a lot of you wish you had more Thunderbolt ports on your new M1 Mac. Here we can see that every new M1 Mac only comes with two Thunderbolt ports which is not a lot. Well today I'm here to help you with that so stay tuned to the entire video. Big thanks to OWC for sending me their new Thunderbolt 4 hub to review. It goes for under $180 on Amazon. I'll leave a link to it in the description below if you want to check it out. Here's a closer look at the box. This Thunderbolt 4 hub doesn't just work with Mac, there's support for your M1 iPad Pro and Windows PC as well. Let's take a look at some more cool features of this Thunderbolt 4 hub. It supports up to three independent daisy chains. You get three additional Thunderbolt ports that can be used as regular USB-C ports, plus an additional USB-A port. These are the three extra Thunderbolt ports, and this is the main connection that goes to your M1 Mac. This hub also supports 4K to 8K displays and provides up to 60W charging power for your devices. Let's unbox it and see what we get inside. Got a little quick info sheet. Here's the power cable. This is the Thunderbolt 4 cable for you to connect it to your M1 Mac. I have the M1 Mac mini so that's what I'll be setting this up with. This is the power supply so just attach the power cable to it and connect it to the hub. Let's unwrap the hub and see what it looks like. On the front we have the main Thunderbolt port that connects to your M1 Mac. You get a USB-A 3.2 10 gigabit port and a pinhole to adjust the brightness of the logo on top. On the back we have the power port. This is a security slot. And here are your three additional Thunderbolt ports. On the bottom you have four rubber pads to keep the hub in place on your desk so it doesn't slide around. It is very small and lightweight, it just fits in the palm of your hand. For a size comparison, here's what it looks like next to the M1 Mac Mini. Make sure to peel these plastic pieces off. If you're enjoying this video so far, please give it a thumbs up so YouTube can show the video to more people. Let's take a look at the overall design of this OWC Thunderbolt hub real quick. First off, I love the small form factor. It doesn't take up a lot of space, which makes it perfect for traveling. So if you work with a lot of USB-C and Thunderbolt devices, this hub is a must have to incorporate into your workflow so you don't have to keep disconnecting devices because you don't have enough ports to work with. The build quality feels pretty good and in the Mac world, OWC is known for making great products. Let me know in the comments what you think about the design. So this is my OWC Thunderbolt 3 dock. I have another video on that if you want to check it out. But let's do a quick size comparison between them both. Super tiny. Here's how to set it up. Simply take the included Thunderbolt cable and plug one end into the main port on the front. And then connect the next end into the Thunderbolt port on your M1 Mac. Next go ahead and plug the power cable into the power supply. Then plug the power connector into the back of the hub right here. And then plug it into your power source. Once you have everything connected properly, you'll have this blue light on top of the hub, which you can adjust the brightness using the pinhole on the front. So I could simply plug a USB-A SSD into the front of the hub like this. There we go. And if you're all out of ports on your M1 Mac, you can connect USB-C or Thunderbolt devices to the back of the hub. So this is a Thunderbolt SSD from OWC as well. Let's go ahead and connect it. And it's that simple. Now let's take a look at some things I hope OWC will do differently in the future. I wish they would put the main Thunderbolt connector at the back of the hub, that way you don't have a cord in the front at all times. Second, I wish the Thunderbolt ports at the back had a tighter connection so it's not easy for the cord to be unplugged, but they seem to have a solution for that on their website which I'll show you. These are the OWC Klingon, they screw into the holes above the Thunderbolt ports on the back of the hub so you can have a tighter connection. Overall, I really like the OWC Thunderbolt hub, the size is perfect for traveling and having extra ports is always a good idea. 
So if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at LamarMK. As always, thanks for watching, stay safe, and peace out.